Hello, it's X-Ray Bob here, and today we're going to be going over spatial frequency, and we're broadcasting from a undisclosed location somewhere in New Mexico. All right, so the formulas you need to know. The first one you need to know is spatial frequency, SF, sometimes referred to as spatial resolution, equals 1 divided by 2 times the pixel size. And it's 2 times the pixel size because spatial frequency is expressed in line pairs. So there's a pixel for the line and a pixel for the not line. So that's how we get to line pairs. All right. The other things you'll need to know is that 1,000 microns equals a millimeter and that 10,000 microns equals a centimeter, and I'm sure you all know one centimeter equals 10 millimeters. You'll need that to do some conversions, because sometimes they'll give you pixel size in microns, and they'll want to know line pairs per centimeter. Okay, so here's the first problem. What is the spatial frequency for a DR system that has 200 micron pixels? And this is actually kind of saying what's the best spatial frequency that it can achieve, you know, with almost no magnification. So first we'll identify the givens, and this time, this problem it's pixel size, which equals 200 microns. What to solve for? All right, in this problem we're going to solve for spatial frequency. So we've got our formula that we've memorized, because we don't have a crib sheet, and it's SF equals 1 over 2 times the pixel size. So we'll put in 1 over 2 times 200 microns, the same as 1 over 400 microns, which equals 0 0.0025 line pairs per microns. But they're never going to want line pairs per micron. We're always going to want line pairs per centimeter or perhaps line pairs per millimeter. So we'll need to convert and we'll need to know those conversion factors. So if we've got line pairs per microns as shown, we'll want to put microns in the numerator and one millimeter in the denominator so the microns will cancel out. And this is a ratio of 1, 1,000 microns to 1 millimeter. So we'll multiply 0 0.0025 times 1,000, and that'll give us 2.5 line pairs per millimeter. And of course, circle your answer so your teacher can find it. Now, if they had asked for line pairs per centimeter, you could do a second conversion, and you could put millimeters in the numerator and centimeters in the denominator. And it's a ratio of 1, 10 millimeters and 1 centimeter. And so millimeters would drop out, and we'd get 25 line pairs per centimeter. Or back here, you could have done 10,000 microns per centimeter and kind of combined it all in one step. But it's pretty straightforward to go from line pairs per millimeter to line pairs per centimeter. If you got 2.5 in a millimeter, you can get 25 in a centimeter. All right, our next problem is what's the pixel size for a DR imaging system that can achieve 12 line pairs per centimeter? The givens are 12 line pairs per centimeter. And what we're going to solve for is pixel size. So again, we know our formula, and now we've got to be able to convert. Our formula said special frequency is 1 over 2 times pixel size. You'll need to do some algebra to be able to say, well, pixel size then must equal 1 over 2 times spatial frequency. I will leave that algebra as an exercise for the student. All right, so back to our problem. We're going to be solving for pixel size. Pixel size equals 1 over 2 times spatial frequency, or 1 over 2 times 12 line pairs per centimeter, which equals 1 over 24 centimeters, which equals 0.04167 centimeters. And you're not going to leave us with that kind of unit. You'll probably convert that over to microns. You know microns to millimeters and microns to centimeters. And here you'll want to put... You got that 0 0.0417, blah, 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 0 0.0417 centimeters. You'll want to put microns in the numerator and set, whoa, hey, that's wrong. You'll want to put, yeah, yeah, you'll want to put microns in the numerator and centimeters in the denominator, so centimeters will drop out and microns will re remain in the numerator. So we'll get, we'll multiply it by 10,000, and that'll be 417 microns. Okay, oh, and circle it, make it obvious for your teacher. All right, problem type three. So problem one and two, kind of we're talking about the best possible uh, situations where there's really no magnification. More likely, you've got some magnification going on, and they'll say here, your field of view shows 64 centimeters, and you're working with a 512 by 512 pixel matrix, and we want to know what the spatial resolution is for that imaging chain. 
So the givens are field of view is 64 centimeters and matrix is 512 by 512. And what to solve for is spatial frequency. So we got that formula, but we're not really ready to use it yet. Because first we're going to need to solve for, well, how much area is over each pixel? So again, our matrix is a, a, a number of rows times the number of columns. Usually it's 512 by 512 or 1024 by 1024 or perhaps 2048 by 2048, but it's usually a square. And so here we're seeing a six by six matrix. And each cell is a pixel. Here on B is a 12 by 12 matrix. And as we get to matrices with higher number of pixels and smaller pixels, we're going to be able to achieve better spatial resolution. So we've got that box, 512 by 512 pixels. So each side is 512 pixels. And the field of view is talking about, well, what is imaged on each side. So we've got an area of 64 centimeters by 64 centimeters imaged onto an array of pixels that are in a matrix of 512 by 512. So our new formula is that the field of view divided by the matrix will give us our pixel size. So here we're going to say, well, let, well we're going to have to solve for both pixel size, and then once we have that, we can solve for spatial frequency. So pixel size is the field of view over the matrix, which is 64 centimeters over 512 pixels, which just lets us know that there's 0.125 centimeters per pixel. And that's what we'll use as pixel size to plug into the formula we know and love. So we'll put in one time over two times 0.125 centimeters equals one over 0.25 centimeters, turns out to be four line pairs per centimeter. And we'll make it very obvious for our teachers that they can't find it. All right, again, shouts out to the giants who I stand upon their shoulders, uh, Bouchong and Quinn Carroll. All right, this is Bob, out. Have a nice night. Where's the stop button?